so much European experience in our squad. Wiggy, obviously, coaching now, Matt Smith, Brett Deacon, all those boys. They've played in Europe so many times, they know what's coming from a coaching perspective. Kev's obviously new to it and a complete different comp. Do they do a European comp and league? They don't, do they? They what? They, do they do a Euro- European comp and league? No, they've got the Catalan Dragons. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, obviously, it'd be new for Kev. Um, and for the boys, like the young boys who have been playing for us the past few years, what an opportunity it is for them to get some game time in Europe against some of the biggest clubs in the world. Um, so it's exciting, isn't it, for everyone, really? I think I was made very well aware of what the competition means the first day when Tommy Young's put one on my chin, to be honest. Um, I knew what the club was about from there on in. So um, I think Tigers is a club that if you come to with a bit of an ego and think you know the the lot, then it chews you up and spits you back out. Um and I learned those lessons very quickly. So I've had five years now, five and a half years of, of learning about the history. And I could probably rattle off everyone's appearances, to be honest, from the, from the board that we had on in, in, in the medical room. So um, I think you've learned about the club. So the first thing they do is take you to the stadium when you sign. They take you to the stadium, show you all the trophies in the cabinet and stuff. Something that like the boys and Steve were quite keen on was sort of forgetting about the all the trophies they won in the past and just making our own legacy. Um, and it's going pretty well for us at the moment. So I'm, I, I don't think we're going to sit there and talk to all the boys about past and all that sort of stuff because we never played board though in Europe, I don't think. Um, well, I definitely haven't since I've been at the club. So it's a new experience for all of us. Um, and obviously all the players that would have played back then probably ain't there now. So not much point talking about it. They've got a very big pack. Um, got Ben Lamb, is it, on the win? Um, he's obviously a great operator. They've got some really good players, haven't they? As most French teams do. Um, as I said in previous interviews, it's, it's a mental competition and we don't play against these boys week in, week out. You probably just see their their highlights on Instagram and stuff um, and they look pretty sharp. So no, I'm excited. It's a, it's a different challenge for us. And I know this sounds a bit silly, but it ain't really about, of course, for the fans and everyone ultimately, it's about when we're losing. But as long as we put our best foot forward and leave it all out there, I'll be I'll be happy with the boys, regardless of what happens. Yeah, I don't think, like, factors on the pitch used to affect our team. I'd say it was probably, like, it wasn't the... Sorry, yeah, like I said, it wasn't the problems on the pitch. It was probably off the pitch that was affecting us. Uh, I don't think we've ever really been that bad at dealing with stuff on the pitch. It was just uh, we had a few more issues away from it, you know? So... Um, yeah, but the French crowds, I've, I've never like, played in front of too many big crowds in France, played at the Racing one and obviously at some of the games against France um, internationally, but they're, they're just very loud, aren't they? Very passionate fans. I've got a few friends who play in the Pro de Two, um, or the Pro de Deux, de, and um, they've got mental fans, you know, like some of them got more fans than the, the top league team. So they're very, very passionate people, passionate about their sport and they're loud, aren't they? So I just want to play against... Um, What's the one? Is that Claremont? I don't know. Have you not heard the yellow I heard it earlier on as well. I love Yeah, no, I think it's Claremont. I, I love all that. I think it's mint, like all the chants and that. I'd rather hear that than the, the generic ones, you know, it's like all the same. Yeah. So. Yeah, obviously they want to they want to take the scalp and get revenge, that's what I'd be thinking. I'd want to I want to get one over them after after losing in round 16 last time. So we've got to be ready for that as well. I think like the European competition is quite relentless in that respect. Like you don't get much time to think about it because you don't review it, do you? Because you're onto a different team the week after, but then you probably play them again in a few weeks. So I guess that's the fun of it. And we, we just got to embrace it and take it all in. I think the biggest lessons, like, and we, we spoke about after, but there's no point speaking about after because you've made the mistakes there and then. So it doesn't rectify it, does it? But we gave away just way too many penalties. Um, I think a lot of these the game now is definitely mostly about penalties and, and field position and stuff so I think if we can drop our penalty count we'll do significantly better than than what we did last year and obviously we got to the final last year but it's a completely different competition now and different challenge I, I, I hate to give terrible answers and bland answers but like it's, you just don't know until you're out of the deal I, I haven't played Bordeaux before and so 